Hi, I'm Chris Leader. I'm the president of Leaders Edge Training, and I want to welcome you to our monthly tips. I hope you're going to enjoy them. Feel free to forward them on to anybody on your contact management system. Hi, our topic for this month is seeing beyond a sense of entitlement. Across North America, managers are increasingly frustrated with the level of apathy and the attitude of their sales force. Today the message seems to be from the salespeople is what can you do for me, not what, will, not what I can do for you. You know, and I heard an interesting story a little while ago and it really makes the, brings the point home. I heard a story about a gentleman who was a president of a railroad and a person who was the supervisor of a, road, a railway crew that worked on the railroad. One very hot summer afternoon, the railway crew was out doing some work. And as the approaching train came towards the crew, they needed to stop because of the construction work that was being done. The delay for the train was going to be somewhere around an hour, and the crew was working feverishly in the hot summer sun. One of the windows opened in one of the private cars, and a voice yelled out and said, Hey, Steve, is that you? Steve turned around and said, Hey, Jim, how are you? He said, Why don't you come out of the sun for a few minutes? We should really catch up. So Steve looked at the crew and said, keep doing what needs to be done. I got to go in for a minute and went into the railway car. He spent an hour in there in the cool car conversing with the president of the railroad. When Steve came out of the car and went back to work with the crew, the crew looked very surprised. They said, Steve, I'm, we're curious. You actually know the president of this railroad? Steve said, oh yeah, I know Jim very well. You know Jim Murphy really well? Yeah, in fact, I've known Jim for over 20 years. The crew looked at Steve again and said, Steve, we don't understand. You are a supervisor of a railway crew. He's the president. What could the two of you have in common? He said, you have, you'd be surprised. We have more in common than you think. You see, we both started to work at the railroad 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we started doing the same job. The crew looked at Steve and said, Steve, now this is, just doesn't make any sense. Jim's the president of the railway, and you're running a construction crew out here in the hot sun. And Steve looked at the, the crew and said, you know, guys, what I, what I missed was the day we started to work for the railroad, both Jim and I. You see, I went to work for my paycheck, and Jim went to work for the railway. You see, it's about what you give, not what you, not what you take. It's interesting, you know, selfish people get less in life than they need, and generous people always get more than they want. I'm going to suggest to you, wherever it is you are working right now, find ways to give more back to your office, find ways to support your management and support the sales folks that you work with. Care about the people you work with and you'll find that if you care about them, they're going to care about you. And what will happen is your business will grow based on just your warmth and your personality alone. My suggestion is, care more about the people you work with than you care about yourself and they're going to see that in you.